welcome to another wood floor warehouse tech video. Today we're going to be looking at scratch proofing of the different types of hard floors that we sell. So we've got a range of floors here. Uh, we've got some real wood floors. We've got a, a lacquered and oiled real wood floor. Um, now these will perform pretty much the same as a solid wood floor even though these are engineered and that's because it's real wood floor on the top. Uh, also we've got two types of laminate flooring. We've got an AC3 and an AC5 scratch resistance flooring. So that's kind of the, the entry level and up towards the top end there. So we're going to see how those perform. Um, we've got two types of LVT or click vinyl flooring. We've got a regular LVT, again available uh, at our website. And then we've got a new type by Egger called design flooring, which is actually made from wood with a self-repairing vinyl layer. So we're going to put that to the test. Finally, just to confuse you a little bit, we've got an engineered wood floor that has been laminated on the top. So it's a real wood decor. So it looks just like a real wood floor when it's down. But the lamination on top of the real wood should mean that it's considerably harder to scratch. So we're really going to put that to the test today. So let's start with our laminate floor. The first test that I'm going to do is using the blunt handle end of a knife and just a soft scrape along the floor. It hasn't really made much of an impact so let's try a hard scrape again using the, the blunt end of the knife handle. No impact or no dents whatsoever on the AC3 which is a really good result. Now we're going to do the same again but with the sharp end of the knife. First with some light pressure. I'm not much there so let's try again with some harder pressure. It's hard to see in camera but when I applied the hard pressure the sharp knife has marked it just a little bit. Overall I think that's performed extremely well. Let's take a look at our AC5 now. I do expect this to possibly perform even better. So we'll start with the blunt end, of course, and a lighter pressure, and now some heavier pressure using the blunt end. It's not really making any mark at all. Let's take the sharp end of the knife and use some lighter pressure. Still nothing really there, but I expect with some blunt pressure, yeah, there's some very slight marking there. Better than the AC3, but only marginally. But don't forget, these floors are not really made to take sharp knives. So that still performed extremely well. Okay, let's take a look at some of our real wood flooring. We're going to start with the oiled wood floor. So it is engineered, but would expect it to uh, perform exactly the same as a solid wood floor. So with the blunt knife handle not really making anything there uh, so let's try a little bit harder again it's doing pretty good there's a slight indentation but it's very hard to see I don't think the camera is going to pick that up at all so let's take a look at how our oiled wood floor is going to do with a sharp part of the knife. I don't expect any real wood floor to do well here, but it will be a good comparison against our laminate floor. I can see some light scratching there already, but not too bad and quite hard to see unless it's in the right light and fully repairable just with a coat of oil. So let's try the heavy pressure. This is expected to really indent soft wood and of course, yes, that wood is is taking a bit of a beating there but let's not forget you're not going to be drawing a sharp object against real wooden floor now it's time to see how the lacquered wood floor performs again this is engineered but it will perform identical to how a solid wood floor is going to perform because of the real wood top layer so first of all our light marking with the blunt end of the handle, nothing really to report just yet. So that's pretty good. Now let's go 
a lot harder with that. Um, yep, I can see a little bit of very light indentation. Of course, the sharp end of our knife. Drawing lightly, it is putting some very slight marks in there. I'm not sure if the camera's catching that. It's it's only very slight, but let's go heavy. And yeah, again, I can see, uh, especially the reflective surface of the lacquer. So there we have it. Uh, both the lacquer and oiled did pretty good against the blunt instruments, but once we brought the sharp instruments in, um, both floors did show that and I'd say it's probably a little bit more visible with the lacquer when the light hits it but it's probably easier to repair with an oiled floor just a coat of oil should really help reduce that a lacquered floor may need a light sand first it's time to take a look at our diamond engineered floor now these are very unique because they are constructed with a real wood veneer except the top layer is then laminated there's no lacquer or oil used so it can't be sanded back but it is supposed to be significantly tougher and the core is hdf the same is used in a high quality laminate but that makes the board more dense and again much harder to mark and scratch diamond floors are absolutely ideal for people that want real wood but don't want the maintenance or the light scratching that can come with it let's see how it performs with medium pressure from our knife handle and nothing really there at all so let's try some tougher harder pressure and as expected I can't see a mark yet which is excellent and that's actually better than the traditional engineered floors were performing now the real test this is where the other floors fell down especially the traditional engineered floors and it's just with a light to medium pressure and so far nothing so that's really good to see the other engineered floors did show some scratches from that now not even the laminates were standing up to heavy sharp impact or heavy sharp scratches so i don't expect this to either but it's looking pretty good there but I can see some very light indentation I don't know if the camera can pick that up but I actually think that is performing as well as as the AC5 laminate uh, which is just amazing for for a real wood floor um, and I think as far as I'm aware th there's no other real wood floors that can do that and you can see how our, our lacquered floor compared to that you can see the scratches where there's there's virtually nothing on this engineered AC5 so super impressive for real wood okay let's look at our click vinyl floors so we've got two different types we've got a traditional LVT and we've got a design floor by Egger I'll tell you more about that one in, in a minute but let's make a start with our more common and more traditional LVT so it's vinyl surface which is quite soft and just with the blunt end of our knife there I can't really see anything with some medium to light pressure so let's try some heavy pressure and see how this softer surface does We're getting a little bit of metal marking but no actual indentation or damage to the floor at all now for the sharp end of the knife so some light to medium pressure and so far so good that's doing well I can't really see anything there and I expect the LVT to suffer here when I give it this harder pressure because it is a softer surface and yet I can see some some marks there it is denting the, the softer LVT surface uh, so while it might be an advantage to have a softer surface it can be a little bit warmer and better grip um, sharp edges I think will will damage that a little bit easier than what we were seeing on the the laminate floors now it's time to take a look at Egger's design flooring. Now this is very similar to LVT, but with two fundamental differences. The first is the core, which is made of wood, and it's highly moisture repellent. And one of the things that I really like about this floor is the vinyl surface is actually self-repairing, and there's lots of little videos online you can see that show that. So let's make a start with the knife handle. 
some light to medium pressure and as expected uh, nothing there everything's past that test anyway but on to the heavier pressure with the knife handle but still nothing there so that's that's good to see and certainly standing up as well as the other LBT now with a sharp end so nothing yet which is excellent so that's again performing as expected but it's the heavy sharp knife end that will be really interesting will it do any better than our traditional LBT and it's not I can see some indentation there but nothing severe and don't forget that's a self repairing surface so that will eventually push out and there's great videos online where you can actually watch that happening representing a good advantage over traditional LVT. So there we have the results of our tests. Uh, as we can see, our best performers were our laminated surfaces. So the AC3 and the AC5 doing very, very well. Uh, really only showing scratches when heavy, sharp uh, implements are applied. Uh, very surprising to see the real wood performing, I would say, almost as well as our laminated surfaces. Then down to the LVTs, which performed very well in terms of blunt pressure but once we get up to the sharp pressure that's when they uh, started to mark so that's good to know to keep the sharp object away from LVT uh, down to the oiled it did very well against the blunt but uh, again we could see the scratches with the, the sharp finish and the lacquered was probably the easiest to mark and scratch of course, all's not lost. Don't forget you can use felt pads on, on any of these products and you can also get little repair kits that are, go that are going to fix uh, any of the little problems that we've seen. So thanks for watching our scratch test. I hope you find it interesting. And if you have any questions, please put them into the comments box of our video. Uh, please hit subscribe if you want to find out a little bit more about what we do at Woodfloor Warehouse. And of course, all products featured are available on our website, woodfloorwarehouse.co.uk. Thank you very much.